morning everyone just wanted to give everybody an update again um working on getting through my first tank of fuel still this whole coronavirus thing has got me confined can't get out there and do some real world driving like i normally do uh i still got 87 miles left on the tank I'll show you here got the first clean out finally done on it better than the dealer of course got a nice coat of wax on it jump in here real quick for you guys give you a view of what's going on start it up for you so i got 633 miles on it right now um i was gonna say it should be about an eight tank turn the music off there 85 miles left on it i'll fill it up tomorrow after i go to work uh, I'll come back on Friday and fill it up in the morning and post another video on that. See how many gallons it takes and what the average comes out to be. Going back in here, just show you guys where I'm at. I've been driving it a little more regular, I guess, instead of uh, babying it. So I got 498 miles on the tank right now, averaging 24 miles a gallon. Not using cruise control my last two 62 mile trips. So getting a little more, or getting a little less, I'd say, average wise. Still at a half tank for the DEF, have not had another regen. I am driving it also in two wheel drive mode. I'm not in auto, haven't had a need for it. So I just keep it in two wheel drive right now. Everything else is staying pretty static. My average is 24.1. The other day I hit 30 and a half miles per gallon on my short run to Lake Geneva area, about a 20 mile drive. Other than that, no other issues with the truck so far. Everything's pretty good. Um, love the heated seats. The heated steering wheel are amazing for being cloth. For this truck, it's nice to have the adjustability on your levels. Um, the auto start, start stop, I've been using quite frequently. Um, you gotta kinda time it out pretty good at the lights. Otherwise you find yourself at a little bit of a delay waiting at the light. There is no turbo lag in this truck at all, which is amazing. All my other diesels had some severe turbo lag and it was kind of annoying. So um, the 10 speed transmission is in my opinion, the best transmission I've ever had. Now I know it's a, it's a combination of a Ford and a Chevy transmission, but this motor and that transmission are amazing. The pull you get on this truck with the torque is outstanding, and I would probably say it would beat my Nissan Titan that had the 5.6 and almost 400 horsepower. Uh, this truck is insanely quick for just an inline six diesel. Uh, I know the truck is lighter than what my Titan XD was, but I um, absolutely love this truck. Everything else is pretty intuitive. Um, for the Bluetooth, it works great. As far as the Apple CarPlay, what I did is I ran my cord up through the center console and have it plugged in here. So that's what I have set up right now. Might be look at something different later on the road, but this actually works well phone sits right nice inside there um, since the rst package does not have the wireless charger like the ltz's do or the gmc um, sierras the higher end packages everything else is quiet of course got the kids car seat set up in there all that stuff a lot more room they're not kicking the back of the seat anymore these floor mats that they come with now in the z71 are awesome no need to buy weather techs you just might make sure you get the protection package on their truck uh, they cover everything which is really good used to buy weather techs for everything but there's no need anymore uh, word of caution for you guys uh, i got lucky on this one but i do have car seats in here which are permanently attached for now until my kids grow up but with this truck, you just have the basic storage one under here, which the floor mat goes under, which is good. But 
you can actually still reach under here and get your stuff when you need it. Uh, the other truck I was looking at was identical to this, but it had the upgraded storage, which is a plastic bin that comes all the way out to here, or I'd say right here, but it meets flush with this and you can't get inside of it. So that would have been really bad if I didn't uh, end up with this one. So I'm glad I did that. No need to pay the extra $300. Um, I'm not going to be storing any rifles in here or anything like that. Uh, the paint job on this truck is phenomenal. Uh, not a ton of orange peel. There's a little bit noted in it. Um, it cleaned up very well. Got my first coat of wax on it. Uh, the only thing that's going to be interesting is everything. Hoods, fiberglass, you got plastic but then you run into steel here. So this will be interesting to see how this holds up with rock chips and rusting out. Um, might get a clear bra on it, we'll see what we do, but cleans up real well. Use a bug cleaner, let it soak for five minutes. Bugs wipe right off. So pretty impressed with that. Fog lights, one thing I noticed, the fog lights reset themselves every time you turn the truck off. My old trucks, Everything, if you just set it in the fog light position, they'll always be on. This one, you do have to hit the button. Um, so just make you wear that. So every time you do have to push the fog light button. Uh, I got the bed, bed light, which is real nice on that. Uh, the modes, I haven't done sport mode yet on that. We'll see how that goes later on once I get it broke in a little more. Uh, wheels flawless tires are good haven't had any wet or snowy weather they're calling for a snow today we'll see if i get out in the snow a little bit but uh looking at doing some rock rails just for some protection on the bottom one thing i don't understand what chevy does they give you these awesome felt liners underneath give you the mud flap right they give you the mud flap here and they have the rock guard protection that goes on here, which is standard, which is real nice. It's not yellowing like my Nissan was right away. They give you the rock protectors. They give you this mud flap. Give you the awesome liner with the Z71 protection package. But then they don't give you another mud flap in the rear. But they do give you the plastic cover here. So you're not going to get any plastic chips. And also on the bumper here a little bit. So... Good design. I just kind of wish they had the extra mud flap. But maybe look at that down the road. Uh, nothing else really to pass on right now. Everything else is good. I'm loving it so far. We're not even a first tank into it, so I better love it. But we will see when I give you guys an update tomorrow on the real world fuel mileage for the first tank. Uh, hoping to get the full... 650 miles out of it which would be awesome because that's what i bought it for got rid of the truck that got 13 miles a gallon hopefully get a truck that gets 27 to 30 miles a gallon so until tomorrow i'll uh, look to seeing you guys next time take care